eyes on all of it, including right here at home where we've got students arrested after another, yet another pro-Palestine protest at the University of Georgia. They say they're not about to stop. But they're also wondering if they can even walk at graduation. We have Atlanta News First, Madeline Montgomery. She is live in Athens tonight. Madeline, you actually spoke with some of those students. That's right. I spoke with them. They are still meeting. They're still discussing how they can keep eyes on what's happening in the Middle East here on UGA's campus, even though some of them aren't even technically allowed on campus because they're suspended following being arrested yesterday morning. So I'm told by those protesters that it was 16 protesters from yesterday in total that were arrested. And nine of those protesters were University of Georgia students. They were all sent to the athens Clark County Jail yesterday morning after trying to set up an encampment on campus. And a spokesperson for the University of Georgia says that students were warned multiple times to relocate due to disrupting university activities and blocking sidewalks and buildings. That spokesperson says that police had no choice but to make arrests when protesters refused to move. Those arrested tell me that they're being charged with criminal trespassing and now they can't be on campus because of their suspensions, which is difficult since it is finals week. I know that folks have to make arrangements with their professors to take them um, not on campus, so they're trying to move their finals online. There's a lot of ramifications to this even outside of that. I'm graduating, for example. I don't know if I'll be able to walk with my classmates, which is really sad. UGA's graduation is generally pretty awesome. A spokesperson for the university says that students are able to appeal that suspension. Reporting live in Athens, I'm Madeline Montgomery, Atlanta News First.